There's no doubt this year that in the wake of a pandemic, investing in organizations, in healthcare organizations, which provide essential public health resources and networks is absolutely critical. I am so incredibly grateful to be on a city council who recognizes this importance. And in the wake of proposed budget cuts at the state level, work together to secure funding for the Philadelphia chapter. And on behalf of the Sickle Cell Disease Association of America, Philadelphia, Delaware Valley chapter, we are humbled, we are grateful, we are thankful that God created a miracle at a time of many challenges that we were facing, including the loss of our board chairman, the beloved Reverend Leroy Simmons. 25 years ago, I was introduced to Reverend Leroy Simmons and to this fine, fine organization. And I received the compassion, the understanding, the education, the care, the community, and the village I needed to live. And I want to commend the Sickle Cell Association of America for their essential work and support for those living with this disease, providing resources and care for those who are sick and shining a light on how this illness disproportionately impacts our most marginalized community members. So this is something that impacts so many families in the city of Philadelphia and around this commonwealth and around this nation who have their own personal stories of family members and loved ones and friends and neighbors that every day struggle with sickle cell. That's why we need to continue to shine the light on the impact this disease has on so many people and continue to do all that we can by providing resources and encouragement and motivation to help people to address this disease. This is, this is going to help not only the sickle cell community, but it's going to help everyone live healthier lives. And that's the goal. I was born with sickle cell in me. I have the disease, but it has never, ever had me. Thank you.